Hey everyone, Rob Lee here, Terror with an Attitude. Hey, I'm a little late on this video. I promised it to my Facebook crowd yesterday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, stick around. I'm going to review it a little bit, but there's more information coming. And this is about healing and it's, and it's about what's going on, either in your life personally, at work, or with all of us as a collective. Stick around. This is important. See you in a minute. This is Tarot with an Attitude, and I am your host, Rob Lee. You can reach me through my website, tarotwithanattitude.com, but we are also on Facebook, Tarot with an Attitude. Go figure the name, right? Anyways, while you're watching the video, reach up, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and ring that little bell to make sure you're getting notified of new content as it comes online. So, Tarot with an Attitude. Some of you are going to be new to the show. This is going to be kind of a weird one for the first one. So, I'm going to start out with a recap from yesterday. I posted on Facebook yesterday uh, pictures and uh, a lot of times I put things for the day, the week, what's going on. So, with this one, I started yesterday and then things got nuts. Phone was blowing up, everything. But we were talking about healing. We were talking about some things. You'll see this picture on the Facebook page when you check it out. Okay. Um, and what we were talking about there, you'll see, is when I started my meditation uh, yesterday morning, um, I got really, really quiet and it didn't take long. And all of a sudden, I was, my whole field of vision was being flooded with green light and energy, just green, radiating green. This is about healing. It's about rebirth. It's about growth. It's about becoming again. So then I turned to the cards and I said, what do I need to know about healing? And these were the two cards I was actually presented with up front. The King of Wands being the top card and the Knight of Wands being the um, shadow card. And we're going to talk about that uh, more in detail. So, when I got done with this, what people on Facebook didn't see is this is what the whole spread looked like. So, we had the uh, King of Wands, like I said, Knight of Swords. But then on the bottom where I said, what's the problem? What, what's going on? What, what, what do we need to address? I got the Four of Swords inverted. Then I said, what strength do we have? And I got the Five of Swords up top for our strength. So let's take a look at what all this means as we as we go through them. So first off, that King of Swords, healing. You're like, Rob, there's so much fire, everything here. But look, there is control. There is mastery. What I want you to understand in the scheme of things, and as we go through this, we all have our passions. We all have our desires. We all have what we want, that drive, that up and go get them. Okay? What we're seeing here is there's nothing wrong with that. We can't achieve these. However, it has to be done with some type of locus of control. The king is in control. He knows when to drive forward. The king knows when to wait. Think of this as King Arthur. Think of this as somebody that's older giving you advice. Anyways, terror with an attitude can't help it. All right, now. What I want you to realize here, this is a fire card, okay? And kings oftentimes do represent older people in your life. So if you're looking at this, look at this from home, work, wherever it is. But healing is the key here. Healing to be able to progress and to move forward. So the cautionary card, whenever we shine light on something, okay, we need to be focused. We need to get things started. Um... We need to, and I, ironically, one of the things I'm just seeing now in this card, if you look at the wand that he's holding and his belt coming down, it's a seven. A king will oftentimes stop, breathe, reassess, which is the seven. It looks like a seven to me there, all right? And they make sure which direction they're heading. It's a time to check. A king is cautious. He doesn't always just charge in. A good king. A king that you trust. A person that's giving you advice that's got kind of like that kingly, fatherly advice. A person you look up to. There's a plan. Stop. 
he doesn't always deal with, with cups or the water, which is the subconscious and the passion. He keeps the dream forward, but he's able to control the elements around him to make things work for him. So, with that being said, the shadow card. Whenever you shine a light on something, there's always a shadow. Law of physics. Knight of Wands. Look here. Again, we have wands. So, Rob, there's a lot of fire and destruction here in healing. Yes, there is. And one of the things this is cautioning us about that falls in with that king is that knight. The knight is all about movement. So, Rob, movement's good, yes, but not in the wrong way. Be slow, stop, look, be laser-focused. Knights carry out the wishes of the king. And sometimes knights get so laser-focused, they lose sight of things that's going on around them. They become very one-thought-oriented. There's more to what's going on right now in your life around you than one big dream or goal. So sometimes we have to stop. This is cautioning us. Slow down. You may win the battle, but don't burn up the hillside where you've got nothing to come home to. Knights are great cards, but think of this as I'm going to get this done and acting like a teenager. You may have a teenager in your life that's like full of desire and passion. You're like, I can't rein him in. This is exactly what we're talking about here. Be careful. You want that drive. You want that passion. But the king has learned how to master it and keep it under control. So that's why the knight here came up as the shadow card. Next, when I look at this and we go, um, we move forward. Um, let me see. Let me make sure I'm clicking on the right card here. Um, yes, here we go. Up died upside down four of swords. And here I'm like, what's, what's keeping us from healing? What is, what, what's going on? Four of swords is all about mental swords is all about mental communication, things like that. And if you look, our guy here is sleeping. Normally this would be take a break from the battle. This is inverted. You either need to take a break personally and step back and reassess your own values, your own judgment, leave some... Notice there's no emotions in this healing. There's no cups going on. Everything here is about passion and drives and about mental, stilling your mind. This great soul is asleep, but at the same time, one of the things is... You have to wake up to what's going around you. And when this first came up, this is where this card really attached to me. It's wake up. Realize what's going on. Be aware there are things happening all around you. The bird is flying over me. doesn't even see it in this. So this is a special message in the inverted to me when we're talking about healing to wake up. Be aware. And you can't be aware without slowing down, without watching, assessing. Look, don't get so locked in on one thing that you're missing everything else that's going on around you. So, with that being said, then I'm like, okay, well, what strength do we have in order to make this work? And the strength we have, five of swords. Wow, anybody that reads tarot will tell you this five of swords is generally all about conflict. It's about it's about things that are happening. It's about instability or whatnot. This is a strength. You got to remember the phrase of the question. A lot of people forget that. They go, oh, there's going to be conflict. No, the question was, what is our strength? The strength we have is the ability to think and if you slow down, still your mind, get things together, we can put the fire out and move forward. We can be mentally sharp and aware, and we can handle the battles. You can deal with multiple battles, but you have to realize there are multiple battles to be fought here. You have home, you have work, you have your community, you have your kids, you've got different things, and everybody seems to want to be pulling you from side to side. You have the strength to handle it. That's what this card is 
telling us. This card is strong. This card is, is, is hugely immense when you look at it from the aspect of that this is a strength. You can fight this battle, but it's going to require mental focus. It's going to require crystal clear communication. Take some time. Get your mental health straight. Get focused. Focus is the key here. And in that, you will be able to accomplish your dreams and goal, but at the same point, you will be able to heal. The healing is still coming through me from this because of the meditation and what I saw. So a lot of times we forget that we're going after our passions and our drives so bad, we hurt ourselves. We become so laser focused that we stop thinking about other things that are going on. Take a breath. Breathe. Those passions and drives are real. We need to be there. But also the strength is knowing how to fight that battle without killing everyone around you. We need people to listen. We need people, for those of you that are into the 5D, wake up. We need people to wake up. And we can't do that by screaming and yelling at them. We can't do that by stabbing everybody and, and going crazy. We need to be that example. You want to win your goals? You want to do your dreams? Be focused. Get focused. Realize there's more going on around you. But most importantly, in the battle, we saw a lot of sleeping, standing alone. You got to take care of yourself. And it's all mental. Many of our battles we're fighting to getting to those um, dreams and goals are all mental. They're more mental than anything else. Once we get out of our own way, a lot of times we can accomplish anything. But that mental battle is beating you up. Take a moment. Breathe. Put something on the shelf for for just a little while, step back, get center, heal, heal. And while I'm talking to you here, if we go back, let me let me find this card again. The Four of Swords. This is why I like doing things my way and get it up where you can actually see it. That's why I said you gotta you gotta take some time to rest. This guy could be telling you personally, give it a rest. On the internal, take some time out from the battle. No one can go on day after day after day after day without taking a break. Those breaks in this self-care are so massively important to you winning this battle and becoming who you want to be and getting things done with the way you want to get them done. So I know this was a little off the wall. There were things coming to me as I went here. So that that some of uh, me being me and I'm going to go with the flow of what's being laid on my heart, my intuition, my guides or whatnot. Healing. Healing is so vastly important. And with that being said, what I want you to do is to remember you can win, but you got to take time to heal. Conflict is a strength, but it's talking about being able to multitask. All right, and if you notice, there are a lot of swords there, but in this card, there weren't a lot of dead bodies, okay? Stop. There are ways to win conflict without killing everybody, okay? Without wiping everybody out. Folks, to heal, we're going to have to come together, and people are going to have to listen to each other. How many times in your lifetime have you ever calmed down by being told to calm down? How many times when somebody started screaming at you, did you sit receptively and go, oh, this is what I want to hear. Wife, ex-wife, husband, ex-husband, kids, mother, father, work. It doesn't work. As a matter of fact, it makes you put that, that whole defense goes up immediately. And we're all walking around in a defensive posture anymore. Be careful. Just be. Breathe, listen, 
That way, when you're on your P's and Q's and you're mentally sharp, your defenses will be up. You'll hear it coming. You won't be sideswiped because you're ready for battle. All right, folks, take what you want. Leave what you don't. But please know I want you to leave with some peace, love, and light.